Yo, call Steve. Tell him to come back. Yo, oh my god, are they alright? Good afternoon. I just returned from the scene of a horrific accident that led to a high level anxiety all the way from Western New York to Albany to Washington. But before I describe the details, I want to be very, very clear to Americans and New Yorkers. At this time, there is no indication of a terrorist attack. Let me repeat that. At this time, there is no indication of a terrorist-involved attack here at the Rainbow Bridge in Western New York. At 11.27 this morning, a car going at a very high rate of speed crashed into a median at Niagara Street just minutes from here. It's in the city of Niagara Falls, near one of the border crossings into Canada, the Rainbow Bridge. There are four border crossings here in Western New York. This is one of the busiest crossings, not just in Western New York, but along the entire U.S.-Canadian border. And it happens on the busiest travel day of the year. So naturally, in a time of heightened alert, everyone sprang into action. It crashed into a Customs and Border Patrol booth, and the car and the booth immediately exploded. Burst into flames. I saw the video of an airborne vehicle that was absolutely surreal. You actually had to look at it and say, was this generated by AI? Because it was so surreal to see how high in the air this vehicle went, and then the crash, and the explosion, and the fire. We've identified that this is a local individual, a Western New Yorker. Two individuals died in the the vehicle, the Border Patrol individual working in the booth was injured. The booth literally protected that individual. They went to the hospital with minor injuries and have been released. Right now, the Rainbow Bridge will remain closed while law enforcement continues investigation. Again, this is a large, widely scattered scene, and we're trying to identify all the elements to make sure that there is no unforeseen uh, situations 
that we need to address before we can open again to the public. We're going to make sure the public is safe before they go back on the Rainbow Bridge. You know, I won't call it an accident. It's not been determined to be an accident. Uh, you don't know whether the, intent, the driver was intentional in how they drove. We do not know that. All I know is there was a horrific accident. Well, I won't call it an accident. A horrific incident, a crash, an explosion, loss of life, but at this time, no known terrorist connection. Speaker, this is obviously a very serious situation in Niagara Falls. Uh, there was a vehicle explosion at the Rainbow Bridge crossing. I've been briefed by the NSIA and the Minister of Public Safety. Uh, CBSA, RCMP and Transport Canada are all fully engaged in providing the necessary support. There are a lot of questions and we are following up to try and get as many answers as rapidly as possible. Uh, we are in close contact with U.S. officials and will continue to work closely with them. Uh, we will continue to be engaged. We will provide updates. Uh, updates I can give right now is there are four border crossings that are right now closed. Rainbow Bridge, Whirlpool Bridge, Queenston Bridge and Peace Bridge. Uh, additional measures are being uh, contemplated and activated at all border crossings across the country. Uh, we are taking this extraordinarily seriously and uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, I will have to excuse myself now uh, to go get further, uh, further uh, updates and uh, work on this very serious situation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Alors on va commencer en français. Moi, je viens de faire une mise à jour avec le premier ministre sur la situation à Niagara. Comme vous savez, il y a eu une explosion. Une voiture s'est est explosée euh, au poste frontalier. I just had an opportunity to update the prime minister on uh, an evolving situation uh, at the Rainbow Bridge uh, in Niagara. Uh, as you know, a vehicle exploded uh, at a border crossing point. Uh, we're receiving regular updates both from American authorities and the RCMP and the Border Services Agency. This is obviously a very serious situation. The Government of Canada is taking this situation extremely seriously. We are in a close contact with American authorities. I will be speaking with the U.S. Homeland Security Secretary uh, shortly. Uh, comme j'ai dit en anglais, uh, c'est une situation que nous prenons uh, très au sérieux. Uh, je serai en contact avec le secrétaire américain uh, responsable de la sécurité intérieure plus tard aujourd'hui, uh, mais c'est important d'assurer les Canadiens que toutes les mesures sont en place pour s'assurer de leur sécurité, mais aussi uh, de travailler avec nos homologues américains pour faire la lumière de la situation. Again, I, I, we don't want to speculate on precisely that sort of detail. Uh, this is an evolving situation. Uh, information is coming uh, into Canadian authorities from their American counterparts uh, literally minute by minute. Um, and we don't think it's, it's helpful uh, or responsible to speculate uh, on that sort of detail. What our job at this moment is, is to assure all Canadians that their security and safety is obviously our paramount consideration. Uh, we're doing that work as we always do on a minute-by-minute -minute basis with our American counterparts, and I hope to uh, speak with the uh, U.S. Secretary Mayorkas in the uh, coming moment. Mais c'est une situation qui évolue de minute en minute. Évidemment, on prendra les décisions qui s'imposent quand on aura des renseignements fiables. Merci beaucoup. Thank you.